here we have a question in this question we have to find the force in member gh the force in member bc and force in member bg of the given truss and also show either this force is tension force either this force is compression force so here the method that we are going to use is section method so before that let's understand what are the reaction support forces at the supports so here it's having support at point a and at point e so at point a we can say that in vertical direction it will have support reaction a y and in horizontal direction it will have support reaction ax because it's a pin support at point a but at point e it will have only one reaction support component and that is en because it's a normal component of support reaction because at point e it's a roller support now there are some assumptions before using section method we'll apply them all the forces in upward direction will be taken as positive all the forces in downward direction will be taken as negative all the forces towards right will be taken as positive and all the forces towards left will be considered as negative the force which are pulling will produce tension forces and the force which are pushing the member will produce compression forces and also the moment in clockwise direction will be taken as negative and the moment in anti clockwise direction will be considered as positive so let's begin as we can see here first of all we'll draw the free body diagram of this figure and we'll name the forces at point a ax ay as you can see here and at point e we can consider as force ey now as we discussed earlier all these forces 5 kN, 5 kN, 2 kN, 5 kN and 2 kN are acting in downward direction so we'll take it as negative. So applying the condition of equilibrium at every point and at every section in order to solve the value of forces first of all we'll go to point N apply the condition of equilibrium. Here we can see the moment about A of every force will be equal to 0. From here we can write force EY into its perpendicular distance from point A that comes out to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 total 8. So EY into 8 and the force EY is producing a moment in anti-clockwise direction so we will consider it as positive and rest all the forces are produced producing moment in clockwise direction so we'll consider them as negative and from here we can find the value of e y that comes out to be 9.5 kN. now let's equate all the forces in vertical direction equal to zero in order to find the value of force e y so as we can see there are two forces which are acting in vertical direction in upward direction they are a y and e y and rest all the forces are acting in downward direction so from here we can find the value of a y that comes out to be 9.5 kN. now moving further let's equate all the horizontal forces as we can see the only force which is acting in horizontal direction is force a x so the value of force a x come out to be equal to zero so let's move further let's go in section uh, First of all, we'll find the value of angle theta. There are two angles. As you can see here, the theta one. The value of tan theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse. As you can see here, this height. We are going to calculate this height. This is the 1.5 meter and this height is in total 3 meters. So this height will become 1.5 meter. And the base distance is 2 meter as you can see in the figure. So from here, the value of tan theta comes out to be 1.5 divided by 2 the value of theta 1 comes out to be 36.87 degree now let's find the value of angle theta 2 here we can see the total opposite side height comes out to be 3 and the base value comes out to be 2 so from here the value of theta 2 will be considered as 56.31 degree 
Let's go in the section Hg and apply the condition of equilibrium as we discussed earlier. Let's take the moment about point B equal to 0 and find the value of force in Hg. So as we can see here, this force at point A, which is 2 kN, is applying in downward direction and giving a torque in anti-clockwise direction. So we'll take it as 2 into 2 as positive. Minus 9.5 into 2, the force Ay is producing a torque in clockwise direction. So we'll consider it as negative. Plus the force Hg. We'll consider this force in this direction and find the value from here. We can find the value of force Hg comes out to be 12.5 kN and it comes out to be negative. So it's a compressive force. So from here we can say the magnitude of force in member Hg is 12.5 kN and it's a compressive force. Let's move further. As we can see, let's go in the member BC. In member BC, we can see the moment about point G equal to 0 and find the value of force in member BC. Four, 2 into 4, this distance comes out to be 4 meter minus 9.5 into 4 this distance is 4 meter plus 5 into 2 this distance comes out to be 2 plus force in member BC into 3 as we can see here so the value of force BC comes out to be 6.67 kN and it's positive so it's a tension force now let's move further in order to find the value of force in member BG as we can see in the figure, first of all we will apply the condition of equilibrium and equate all the forces in vertical direction equal to zero. From here we can find a relation between force in member BG and force in member HG as we can see here. Now from here we can find we will substitute the value of force in member HG as 12.5 and the force in member Ay as 9.5 and substitute the value of theta1 and theta2 and find the value of force in member Fg that comes out to be 6 kN and it's a tension force so thus we found all the forces in each member and also we have shown are there either they are compressive or tension as we can see here the magnitude of the force in member BG comes out to be 6.1 kN and it's a tension force thank you